I'm going to show you why I think this wireless keyboard from Logitech could be the ideal way to multitask, especially if you frequently make use of multiple devices like a computer and a tablet. Hey, it's Andre, and today I'll be looking at this Logitech K780 multi-device wireless keyboard. The first thing you'll notice about this keyboard is that unorthodox, hard to describe what you'd call it, but I'm going to call it a shelf hanging from the back and adding a bit more thickness to this keyboard. If you look at it from the side, it sort of reminds me of a white chocolate Toblerone bar. If you like a thin, streamlined keyboard, then this probably isn't for you. Just think of this more of a keyboard out of convenience. I have to admit, when I first saw this keyboard on the shelf of my local Local electrical store. I didn't really like the look of the keyboard but when you think about it practically it becomes a lot more nicer looking. The keyboard itself is made out of that normal premium plastic that Logitech use on their keyboards while the shelf with its speckled design in this version is made out of a hardened rubber which will protect anything resting against it from being scratched. The shelf acts as an integrated phone and tablet stand that allows you to have your phone and or tablet right in front of you at a comfortable viewing angle. Useful if you haven't got a lot of desk space or even if you use your tablet tablet as a second screen like I do. It's usually positioned underneath my main monitor and it allows me to connect my iPad to my Mac Mini and use it as a second extended monitor or separately if I want to use the iPad to remain on its own OS. The position that the device sits on the shelf is fixed so if you don't find the viewing angle comfortable the only way to connect it would be to change your seating position. It will support most smartphones and tablets with a thickness of up to 11.3 millimeters in either portrait or landscape orientation. If you've got a 12.9 inch iPad Pro then then you will only be able to use the stand on landscape mode only. The iPad I'm using here is the 10.5 inch 2017 iPad Pro and you can see that it sits nicely in both portrait and landscape orientation with more than enough room for me to also put my iPhone 13 Pro next to it. I like the shelf on this keyboard because the lip that your tablet tucks underneath gives me the confidence that my tablet isn't simply going to fall out. But when I've looked at other similar keyboards with grooves for other devices, they don't give me that same confidence that I get when I'm looking at this keyboard. But that's not me saying they wouldn't do the job perfectly. Surprisingly, this keyboard is actually deceptively quite weighty in hand, and it gives that premium feeling, just like you get with other Logitech accessories. Taking advantage of this keyboard being so weighty, I can and I do regularly use this keyboard and iPad on my lap, that's mainly because the keyboard is more bottom heavy than the iPad is top heavy, so it's not going to actually just topple over. Compatible with Windows, Mac, iOS, Chrome and Android operating systems via a Bluetooth connection, you'll be able to connect the K780 to most PCs, Macs, laptops, smartphones, tablets or any device that supports external keyboards, or with one versatile keyboard in the K780. And if that wasn't enough, if you have a device that has Bluetooth connection problems, you can also connect it via Wi-Fi with the supplied wireless dongle that you can access in the battery compartment and plug it into your device as long as you're within the 10 meter range for both Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connection. So for anyone suffering with connection problems like those on the M1 Mac Mini, using this keyboard via Wi-Fi is ideal. Interchangeable connection between your devices is easy and happens within a few seconds once you've mapped your desired device to the relevant numbered connection button, labelled 1 to 3 for simplicity. So with a simple press of a button you can go from writing an essay on your computer, to responding to an email on your tablet, to replying to your friend's text message on your phone. If you're wondering how to connect a device via Bluetooth, for example, if I want to add my iPad to the keyboard in position 3, hold the 3 button and have your iPad in the Bluetooth settings screen and select the keyboard when it's displayed. Simple as that. In some cases you may have to enter a code on the keyboard, but that's generally the only other thing you'll have to do. So what's it like to actually use this keyboard? Having previously used the smaller keyboard in the Logitech K380, which I did actually find really comfortable to type with, the round alphanumeric concave keys on this keyboard, which are designed to match the shape of your fingertips, are slightly bigger, and that extra space with it being a semi full-size keyboard means that the keys are generously spaced out, resulting in fewer incorrectly pressed keys. So that sloping angle, eight millimeters at the front and 22 millimeters at the back, further exaggerated by the shelf, doesn't affect my typing experience. It's not silent to type, but it's certainly quieter than your average keyboard. The keys feel responsive and that key travel distance is just right. And at the end of the press, there is no abrupt clunky feeling. So if you want to type and someone is in the room next to you and doesn't want to be disturbed, then you should be fine typing on this keyboard long into the night. The estimated battery life on this keyboard is up to 24 months. It has an auto sleep function, so useful if you're like me 
and you forget to turn the keyboard off once you've turned your computer off. But if you do remember, there is an on off button on the side of the keyboard. There's no USB charging, just the two AAA batteries that come in the box. If you want further limited customization of your keyboard, you can install Logitech options on your computer and change the four keyboard hotkeys to enable a setting or control of your choice from their list of options. You can also see which devices the keyboard's three Bluetooth channels are currently programmed to, and you can keep the keyboard up to date all through the app. So no matter what system or device you use, as long as it's compatible with an external keyboard, then it'll most likely work with the K780. I found it a really nice upgrade from the K380, mainly due to it being a semi full size keyboard. I didn't actually realise how much I used the number pad until you know you don't actually have one at hand. I think if you don't like the folio cases that are compatible with tablets that also come with keyboards attached and want a semi full size keyboard with an integrated stand then this may be a decent choice. I prefer when I'm using my iPad if I'm writing something at length to use an external keyboard because I'm not a particular fan of the on-screen keyboard because it can be sometimes too small and fiddly at times. This keyboard has definitely been designed with future thoughts in mind and the integration of every device that many people have at their disposal. If you enjoy a less cluttered, wire-free desk setup and are currently looking for a wireless keyboard built for practicality, that's easy to set up, easy to type on, has a long-lasting battery and a stable connection to your devices, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, then the Logitech K780 really is a good option. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on this keyboard and actually what you think of the shelf. I'll leave a link to this keyboard in the description below. Press the like button if you enjoyed this video, make sure to press the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. And also press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to see my review on the little brother of the K780, the K380, then click here to watch that one. I'll see you on the next one.